నేను మీకు ప్రేమిస్తున్నాను on one hand we have somebody who comes from a heavyweight legion and on the other we have a rank outsider but there's one thing that connects both of them that they're incredibly gifted and talented artists today i have joined by nunal thakur and dulkar salman only on gulti.com hello hello Ooh. hello how are you guys wonderful maine kya sikhaya tha what was the thing Ella that you taught me ha ela unnaru ela unnaru ela unnaru he's asking ba unnaru Oh wow, he Baunaru. also knows it. I think only the only one who doesn't know. But you can't be next... representing uh, Gul. Uh, wait, what is the other one? This is the first day, na? Oh, okay. I'll. Nenu miku premise thunna. Huh? Nenu miku premise thunna no. Nenu miku premise thunna no. Naka. Yeah. Really? Both huh? of you. Oh, both of us. Okay. Yeah, we love you too. Thank you. Nenu miku chala premise thunna no na ya. Thank you. But Our you know what? Favorite words are chala. Chala, yeah. Pen, she's pen, she's pen, used pen, it forty pen. times in the last interview, by the way. <laughs> so clearly, that's her favorite um, word. Yes. But the reason I started it on a note of love is because when I see the trailer, uh, the one emotion that comes out um, evidently is love. Yes. Um, me as a person, I believe in old school love, which I feel is slowly, slowly um, going away, mm-hmm. or maybe like that's my opinion. What kind of lovers are you? Like, as a romantic, are you an old school charm, believing somebody who believes in old school charm, or you believe in modern contemporary love? I'm very shy when it comes to expressing things. I I express things, but of course, I take time. But I uh, I never thought that I would be so shy. Like sometimes when I uh, when I I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> <laughs> She can't explain this also. <laughs> I'm an old school person. I like to love someone than to be loved because, uh, and when I when I get so much love, I get so like, I'm like, what have whatever done? Am I, do I deserve this? I this is just like uh, too much. Um, what too much? Like I can't handle it. Uh, but also, I believe in meeting people and doing rather than sending emails or WhatsApp messages. Yeah. And uh, I like doing small, small, little, little things. You know, like. um traveling all the way to meet someone you've and done that i've done that i've been doing that but because it's tell us tell us where all you travel yeah yeah to hum log bhi thoda we should also connect the dots na just in places one, one was a uh, long time ago was europe somewhere that's cool no mm, scandinavian for a guy scandinavian guy but uh, yeah, uh, but wo uh, that didn't work out so <laughs> now it's within india you know anybody in india you yeah, know, all the scandinavian yeah. people somebody no you have was like you've gone all the did you really want to travel the, the only really want to travel flights to i've been taking is to hyderabad <laughs> so if anyone wants to meet me you guys can meet me on, on a flight to hyderabad <laughs> should so catch a flight everybody with everybody find out the itinerary and book but it's the same for the you same i flight. guess taking flights to hyderabad yeah, yeah actually i just today a friend was okay. telling me he's like uh, dude it feels like this is your second home For the past year, every time I call you, you're, you're, you're right in Hyderabad. Hyderabad. But what kind of a person are you in that? Like, do you believe? I, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, I don't even have to say I'm old school because I am old school. I'm, I'm from a different generation only altogether. Uh, but I love. I uh, love how <laughs> I love I love his answers. <laughs> Very interesting. I, yeah, I think I'm old now. No. No. Anyway. Oh anyway. God, I don't know what's wrong with Dulkar and Shahid. They both keep saying the same thing. <laughs> that you're old. Who you really think? that the I'm majority old, of the I'm audience older, feels I'm that i'm older than the majority of the people in this room for i'm sure. older than her you're older than her yeah but yeah, okay but that doesn't mean anything she is just what just turned 30 years old yeah. uh, thanks yeah. <laughs> 26 <laughs> or something no it's okay i'm 30 <laughs> yeah big trio yeah anyways you're not old period yeah but yeah i am old school period acha i like uh, letters i like flowers uh, I send all the women in my family flowers on Valentine's Day. Hmm. My mom, my daughter, my wife, my sister in Bangalore, uh, and hmm. unannounced, suddenly awesome. they'll get like flowers, and and their husbands would have forgotten, and I'd still send. So oh, brownie sweet. points. Yeah. I think God has stopped making men like that. Yeah. No. Which is why we want to remind them uh, by yeah. you know watch Sita Ramam and be reminded of classic love, 
old I was love. going to come to that. You know, we have all grown up in a in an era where there were no social media, no yeah. WhatsApp, of course. So we've had interpersonal relationships, right? Like that. Even with like, I'm talking about love for family, love for friends, everything. Everything has been very interpersonal and not on, not through a cell phone. Letters are something that um, have a different emotion, right? Yeah. When was the last time that you wrote a letter? Do you remember, or do you do you love it even now? Like a handwritten letter. Yeah. Um, I think in May, maybe like my mum's birthday or something. Oh, wow, sweet. I'm so bad at writing, but I try. What? But that letter turns out to be a screenplay. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just never That's ending. good, no? then you have uh, material to make movies. <laughs> movies, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Don't waste them, just, yeah. just keep writing. You're right, actually. I never thought about yeah, it. Yeah. Last, when was the last time you wrote it? A week, but ek do din pehle. Oh, to who? <laughs> Runal? <laughs> to someone I like the most. <laughs> no. But you know, coming back to the movie, one thing that I was fondly reminded of, I'm not going to compare it, but I'm going to say because the emotions stand out. It, um, I think the emotions of that film also stood out to me, which is Veer Zara. Mm. Mm. I feel that that had a different language to love, you know, even it set in contemporary times, it had a very different language to love, yes. um, thanks to Yashji. This has a very different language to love. Um, did you ever feel like uh, people would relate to the two, not compare, you know, people are not comparing. People are actually fondly remembering that uh, vis a vis this trailer. Yeah, I've been reading uh, comments and I, I hear Veer Zara pop up, I hear Roja popping up, uh, even Mahanati popping up uh, because of the screenplay. But see, when we listen to scripts, it's not, I'm not immediately thinking, does it remind me of some other film? Uh, I, I think we now have enough experience to gauge if this is an original idea, yeah. it's an original script. And uh, definitely once they watch the film, I think they'll realize it's something true to itself. Uh, but I mean, those have been. But having said that, I would, I think we would all love for this to be, or we all believe for this to be as classic, as timeless as all those films, as Veer Zara and Absolutely. as Roja. And when was Veer Zara made? 2004 or 2000. So it's been like, yeah, 16, yeah 17, 18, 18 years. 17, 18 years since something like that was made. There's been an entire generation that's become probably turned adults in that time. Yeah. So they need to, I think, see something like this. What about you? Have you heard these things? Have you read these things? Yeah, in fact, I've personally also felt because one of the classics that I've seen is, was last was Veer Zara and uh, I'm really happy if people are able to resonate that with you know the trailer of Sita Ramam. I think uh, the most important part of our lives is romance and I felt like there are not many romantic films being made yeah. lately. We needed, we needed that old school love. We need, you know, what is love? Love is not like, you know, it's not hectic. It's not it hectic. Not. It's like taking efforts for that one person that you like the most. And I think Sita Ramame, Sita, the kind of efforts that Ram takes for Sita and Sita takes for Ram, it's so sacred that relationship, the journey, and, and waiting, uh, you know, that waiting period. The longing, the, the, yeah. The longing. Yeah. And nowadays it's kind of very, it's very easy. Instant, yeah. you know, it's, it's very rushed. It's very it's rushed. It's so. hectic. <laughs> I use the word hectic for it. That's why I, you know what, D, I was in fact uh, doing an interview in the, you know, yesterday in the press junket. I realized that, like, actually, Shah Rukh Khan, you know, Shah Rukh Khan, the way he's treated all his heroines through the characters in the movie, has set the benchmark so up and high <laughs> that in my life, my romance, when it comes to romance, the expectation is quite there. <laughs> but he's, so, he's the Shah Rukh Khan only. He is the Shah Rukh Khan. He's considered. Like 10%, like Sasta will. No. Not at all. No, come on, like Shah Rukh is Shah Rukh. Can't compare. Yeah, but uh, I love Shahrukh Khan. I just feel I love that Shah Rukh. I, just I, love Shah Rukh. I just feel that w from what I heard right now, the way you send flowers to everybody, every woman in the family, I feel that that's very sweet, and that's that. Love is about respect, now. It's also yeah. a lot about that. Um, you in an interview said recently that you want to, s you know, take a break. Yeah, take a no, break from no. that romantic image. That's Why? Not, no, <laughs> that's not happening. That line needs to be removed. Perpetually when we have interviews. Next time I do a, a love story, I don't want I don't want people to be like, oh, another love story from Dulka. So we'll give it a break, and when people really want one, I'll ho hopefully I'll find a nice one and I'll do that. Okay, you do a superhero <laughs> film, you do action, but you do you also do romantic films. You don't say no. But to all it. my films will always have a lovely romantic track. Because love is so important. Yeah, and love is. Is there in every film? No. 
Yeah, love is essential. Love yeah. is essential. That's yeah. the line. It is. But at the same time, you know, I want to tell you this that um, there, there are. If you look at the West, all the big stars they are confined to a particular genre, and we still love them in that genre without any judgment. Yes. It's only in India that I feel that we expect an actor to do everything. It's not wrong to do everything <laughs> if they want to. But they can't be excellent at everything. Like we judge Tiger Shroff for doing action, and then we are judging you and Shah Rukh sir for doing only romance so well. But they don't realize that this is this is something that we enjoy watching you in as well. Do do you feel that? Do you do, have you ever no no it's not sense I, that? I I I get it when people enjoy watching certain actors doing certain genres of cinema and certain types of characters. I get it. If it's something as timeless as this, something as uh, extraordinary, I will I will definitely do it. I want to come to your love story, real life love stories. Okay, first starting with you. Um, you got married before you actually debuted in films, and yep. that's not what usually actors do. I, is what I've been conditioned to believe. Not that <laughs> it's the right thing, to be very honest. But we've been conditioned to believe that, right? Um, were you like a silent romantic, or were you like an out and out? We never know. Like, how did you guys meet? I'm a lot more expressive uh, than my wife is. Uh, I'm the Probably the louder, more extroverted, more outgoing one. Uh, I'll have a hundred ideas of expressing, uh, <laughs> like a, even if it's a date. Like I'll have all these thoughts, and she's always trying to figure out because she's like, I don't know how to match up to your ideas, right? Like, <laughs> That's so sweet. but it's also easier, I think, to do things for women. Uh, I think uh, you know, little things make them happy. Yeah. And, and, I think just the fact that boys put in any amount of effort, anything, like <laughs> can be the smallest thing, and they really appreciate it because we are quite useless uh, at, at at making any kind of effort into things. Uh, but even now, like I think, I think what I enjoy most, it's weird. It's, it sounds like a plug for the film, but I love getting letters. So my wife, who's not very expressive, if she actually writes me a multi-page letter, I'm like, oh my god, jackpot! This is <laughs> the best, oh, wow. best gift. But I think that's why you connected to the film also. Yeah, yeah. Easily. In a lot of ways. Like I connected because I love letters. Like mm, I went for a trip and my friends were all here. So I made sure that you know I get those postcards because no matter what I give them, there has to be something written. There has to be something which Post is it. us, right? Yeah. Which is personal, exactly. And a heartfelt note. Yeah. Not just some words. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but when did you first meet her? So I've been, a, I've, I was always aware of her. This story is repeated so many times, but anyway. Uh, she's from. Uh, my hometown from Chennai. She is from my school, actually, but uh, younger. So it would have been very odd if, <laughs> when I was like in the twelfth standard, to look at somebody in the sixth or seventh like that. Oh. So I didn't. Uh, but much later on in life, when um, I feel like the men in my family around uh, their mid to late twenties, they start to look out for women for them, right? Like the family does it, and I, which I find a very traumatic. Sort of experience. experience an idea, and I'm like, I don't like uh, women being paraded, and then you know, uh, you go house to house and meet them, and you, it just seems wrong. Did you really do that? I did. Okay. I refused to. Okay. So uh, I was like, instead of doing this, and you know, like you, <laughs> it's like resume, it's like bio data get exchanged. And I was like, this is such a bizarre concept, right? And it's a job. It's a job, and uh, there was a home folder with with bio data from different people and I think mine was going out and I was like, I can't connect to this, this doesn't make any sense to me and uh, as fate would have it or serendipitously, I, I started seeing my now wife Amal all around Chennai, which never used to happen, you know, we're from the same school, but I've never seen this kid out like ever. Uh, maybe we, we moved in different circles and I don't know what she used to do for fun, but I just never saw her ever in Chennai. And Right then, like in a, within a span of a couple of weeks, I kept bumping into her everywhere. Like I went for a dinner and she was there. I went to uh, the salon or something and she was there. And I, I was like, why is she popping up everywhere? You know, maybe it's a sign. <laughs> and that's it. I, I was like, maybe it's a sign. Maybe I should do something about it. Very old school way for today's generation, I sent her a message on Facebook. I was like, hey, remember we were class schoolmates. I don't know if you remember me from then. I was your senior. And I keep seeing you out and I don't know. Can we grab a cup of coffee? Oh, how sweet. Eventually, it started on Facebook. Like yeah. many other relationships, basically. Yeah. Twitter, Facebook, Facebook, and Instagram. Tab Instagram too, popular. I don't think it was there. I don't there. think it was there. It was there, it yeah. Wasn't even there. What about you? Do you remember the most romantic thing you've done in a relationship? Yeah, I think that was it. 
That was it. Sorry, sorry. Please, there's another story. Please. No, somebody who, somebody doing something for you. I want to know. No, yeah, like not yet. It's what? Not yet. Uh, there must be some boy who did who got it right. Mm. At least a gesture, something he did. As like, I don't want to say it. I know oh, that, okay. it. Yeah, then then we shouldn't try. <laughs> is it? Then we'll not ask you. But just say it is like that. Well, it's. I think. My God, this is the most like <laughs> tongue-tied I've seen her in in, in promotions. I think Munaz like on That's top of a game do. and like. Because I told you, I'm very ready. shy. So okay, uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> You're blushing. Do you know this? Thinking of that also. Yeah. So I great. don't. So earlier, I don't know how a woman was supposed to be treated, and when I was I was witnessing that, I was like, oh my god, this is just crazy! Like, do I even deserve this? Yeah, what is this? What is this? Uh, you know, कोई कहते ना कि पलकों के छापे रखते हैं किसी को. So I was always a person who always loved people, but I was yeah. never loved so much. So to be there's a difference between being a lover and a beloved. Yeah. So I could feel the difference. you know and i just felt like oh my god this is just so beautiful something so yeah uh, i have been the i was the person who would who would travel she still hasn't given away anything yeah no <laughs> coyly holding on to that <laughs> it's still coded yeah it's coded listen i'm very per- like you know i'm very private, per- private about my per- my relationship yeah i would guess anyway you know na i just don't want to say it on camera Yeah, we'll have a <laughs> nice. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm unsize, unsubscribing no, no, no. this right now. But uh, this is highly entertaining for me. <laughs> the moment you say cut, you will get all the information. You know, when you talk about beautiful, uh, what is beautiful today? Is are the crossovers that are happening? I think genuinely, and I'm saying. Are we talking about cars? Huh? Are we talking about cars? <laughs> no. No. Oh, no. No. You're a car hey, fanatic. No, no, I'm saying Listen, cr- cr- crossover was this term I first heard in like the automobile world. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't mean it that way. I meant like you know, um, I think like we're becoming. Like a talent exchange. Yeah, I, I think we're becoming united. Like I'm being honest. Like I don't think uh, five years ago I would have uh, thought that I'm going to sit and do an interview for a Telugu publication mm-hmm. and primarily a Telugu publication, wow. and that's happening. And so, um, uh, so is it for actors as well, and that's great. um do you see the perception change because a lot of actors who have hailed from south who belong from any of the states in south um they have always felt a little um like an outcast in the beginning they have always spoken about that there's been a differential treatment but today i think people have that acceptance towards those actors their films are working this is more stuff. than acceptance i think is respect and yeah and you know adulation it's beautiful i i mean one nation man like it's taken us long enough Yeah, absolutely. It's so warm, man. Like you know, when I was doing interview interviews here, the press junket was happening, and Rashmika was she's so sweet, yeah. and she just literally welcomed me to the, you know, to to, to the tel- Telugu industry, and I'm going to do the same when her Bollywood debut happens, and it's absolutely. like it feels like you know we one are like Indian, team. we are like team, yeah. like one team, like it's it's not like Bollywood film or Tollywood film or whatever. It's like an Indian film. I must thank uh, Rashmika. for doing this part in Sita Rama Mia she's such a big hero in yeah. here and uh, i think uh, without her this film is not possible so um uh, coming back to your question it's just i feel like if i feel hyderabad is home for me i feel welcome with every actor from south i'm yeah. not i'm not kidding and i'm not saying it just for effect being honest i just feel that um, i was going to come to this question that you know you hail from a legion where you can get away by behaving a certain way but when i met you in bombay you didn't behave a certain way when i met you here you don't behave a certain way mm, do you have no sense of entitlement at all you have to earn that right you have to earn more than anything you have to earn respect and uh, a sense of entitlement is the easiest way to lose any <laughs> respect that you might have inherited yeah. from your family or legacy Uh, so i'm i have always been very aware of that and uh, i think it's it's just in my head from when i was a kid like i i wasn't the one to cause commotion throw tantrum i didn't want to draw any attention to me for misbehavior right i mean i was not in school class and everything but harmless like doesn't seem like cute see stuff yeah but uh, never uh, like getting in trouble and yeah never getting caught or never getting in trouble i just never didn't, didn't want to get in trouble but now now i think this getting caught thing is more interesting <laughs> yeah it makes for interesting copy you know ai i like trouble just don't want to get caught 
Yeah, most people say that. Um, you know, like I said about your legion, I met Sir. Uh, it was one of the first interviews that I did uh, of any any um, superstar from mm -hmm. the region, to be honest. And uh, I just loved how he welcomed me. You know, till date, if you go and see the comments on that video, so after the interview, he just pats me on my back. That's it. And there are out of 700 comments, 100 comments are only about that. And the gesture <laughs> means a lot. You know, it, it means a lot to a person like me, who's a nobody, to be very honest, in front of him. Um, <laughs> I must tell you something. Uh, oh my God, I can't even express. Are you going to cry? No, I mean, I was so overwhelmed when, he off, when I was, you know, I was at DQ's place and we were celebrating his birthday and at the dinner table, he just served me a fish, which was so, so <laughs> delicious and spicy. But I was like, sir has served me, so I'm going to eat and finish it. And so I, like, I could see her, I'm watching her eating and she's like, <laughs> slowly but, trying to get through this, this big piece know, of fish. And, and I'm like, I'm like, Munal, don't himself. worry about it, you know, it's okay. Serving you. <laughs> Do not say no. You finish like, it also. Like, forget that. Uh, I, I remember my teammate who was a vegetarian turned not a vegetarian that day because of so, so the food. Really? <laughs> yeah. Just, just see the effect. So sweet, yeah. Like, yeah, he is. What a legend. What a legend. <laughs> but you know, he said something to me that you guys don't have dinner table conversations on films, despite coming from a film family, so to say. He has seen a lot of troubled days in the beginning, like financial lows. So. I understand where he's coming from. You have not seen those many troubled days, hopefully. My mum is very, uh, she's very rooted, she's very rooted. real, yeah. and um, she's very aware of even our immediate family, extended family. There's a lot of people who are financially, uh, you know, not well off or going through a hard time. So she finds it very difficult when uh, we indulge too much or appear like we're showing off. Or whatever. So gr growing up, she was very strict with money, man. Like, uh, I, I used to be scared to ask her for like anything. It's not just us. Yeah. So my mom, I used to be like, oh God, like, how do I bring up this? <laughs> I want something. So I, I grew up like that. And, and with my folks, it's not like they spent very lavishly or something. But uh, you know, and um, if a film does well, you know, there's a relief at home. There's some joy in the house and if a film does badly, you know, the, there's a shift in the mood, People, everyone is a little low. Uh, so I, I've grown up seeing this and I know it's not permanent, I know it's yeah. not something guaranteed. I know the same insecurities my dad went through as he was getting older, he's like, oh, maybe, you know, I won't play hero anymore. I, uh, so it's never, I didn't grow up thinking this is permanent and I think that's always given us that uh, that's probably why I, I value all of this so much and I don't take it for granted. Finally, any word of advice that you got from your dad? You just do your job. Yeah. But there's no don't, plan. don't look left and right. You do what you can sincerely to the best of your ability. And don't look left and right. But there's no plans of like working with him. Like he said that I want to. Yeah. But he has no plans. <laughs> yeah, he said that. He said that I don't want to put pressure on him. This is what he told me. He's like I he's like I, I don't what? He said something very famously, like when you, even when you guys ask him this question in interviews, he'd be like, I don't talk about other actors. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's, no, he's, he's like, I, I like that you have your own identity. I think it's unique. Uh, keep it that way. Both of us coming together in a film. Yeah. You will just be very small in front of me. What's the point? At least? <laughs> if you have some amount of stardom, enjoy it. Yeah. But you know, I'll end it uh, by saying that there's a lot of respect today given to actors, thankfully. So, um, when we were talking about the whole shift in perception, I want to tell you that uh, we are talking about Indian films and today, every Indian actor is an Indian actor on Wikipedia who primarily works in different language films and not Ooh. like a Bengali film actor, Marathi film actor, Hindi film actor. It has changed and um, I'm guessing that we all are the faces of change. You guys have been the faces and voices behind the change and so more power to you and congratulations. I know this film is going to work so I'm going to say congratulations. I don't know in the interview. So, that's why congratulations first. Bye bye. On the flower blockbuster. Thank yes. you. Thank you. Let your thank words you, turn to you, gold. Yes and then I'm going to come back and then we are doing another interview. Yeah. yeah. Where you have another more time. Film. Yes, yeah. done. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. This is fun. You, I, this I, was fun. Thank you. I don't mind doing this for another hour. We needed hour. this. Yeah. <sighs>